Before we get started, guys, I wanted to quickly thank y'all. We did hit the 300K sub mark. I appreciate that. We appreciate that very much. Stay tuned because of course we are gonna do the giveaway. The details will be either on our next video or on our Instagram. So if you're not following our Instagram pages, be sure to follow them, check them out. They will be linked in the description below. With that said guys, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. And let's jump right into this tutorial. That was stupid. That was good. That was good. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right guys, thank y'all for tuning in to yet another tutorial. As usual, all the steps that I'm gonna do in this tutorial and every single tool that I'm gonna be using will be linked in the description down below, along with our website, fadedculture.co in case y'all wanna buy up some merch. And you know, we're always gonna have to comb the hair into its neutral position. I usually use the wide side of the comb if the hair is a lot longer and a lot thicker, but for this scenario, since his hair is not that long, we're gonna use the fine side of the comb. Again, just combing it into its neutral position, make sure that you are combing according to the cowlick. Our point here is to get the hair to just lay as natural as possible. Now with my number seven guard, like I mentioned in the intro, lever completely closed, we're gonna start going over the top. Make sure that you are cutting against the grain for a consistent length. And you always want to keep a comb in your opposite hand when you're cutting the top to then reset it and then go over it a few times. So like I mentioned guys, go ahead and dust them off, reset the hair and go over it two to three times. I always go over the top two to three times because I want to make sure that it is consistent and I don't have a lot of frizz sticking out. Now with my number two guard lever completely closed, I'm going to start cleaning up the sides. And it is essential guys that you do clean up the sides if the hair is a bit longer. That way when you come in and set your guidelines, it's gonna be a lot cleaner and a, and a lot easier to see. So just stay relatively low with this number two and go all around the head. Now starting at that temple peak area, we're gonna create our first guideline and work our way back. I'm gonna slightly drop it as we approach the back of the ear, starting with no guard lever completely closed. Make sure that you are easy with the wrist and flicking out as you approach the top of your guideline guys. And this is why I said it's always good to debulk so I can then easily see my first initial guideline. And yes, my clippers are zero gap. There will be a video link in the description down below as well. So y'all can see how we zero gap our clippers as I think it's very important that y'all all zero gap y'all's clippers it makes a huge, huge difference. So yeah, go ahead and take this guideline all around. Just make sure that you end up at that same temple peak area on the opposite side. Go over your guidelines as many times as you need to guys. The point here is to get them as clean as possible the first time. Again, just view him from the front to reassure that your guidelines align. Now with no guard still, we're gonna open up that lever completely and make our second guideline. Make sure that it is running parallel to the one underneath and this guideline is about a finger's width. So yeah, go ahead and take that same guideline all around 
Again, guys, just make sure that it is running parallel to the one underneath to ensure a consistent fade. Now with my number one guard lever still completely open, we're gonna continue the process making our third guideline again. It's gonna be about a finger's width. Make sure that you are flicking out as you approach the top of the guideline and just go ahead and take that all around the head. And it is important guys, just, how, just like we keep a comb on our opposite hand when we're trimming the top, I like to keep a brush when I'm fading the sides so I can then clean the canvas after every few strokes. As you can see, I am flicking now. I slowed it down a bit so you can see the wrist motion. To continue the process, we're gonna use a number two lever still completely open. And again, just come straight up out from the parietal ridge. There's no reason to dig this in as you will start creating more of a full hawk look. You are gonna notice that the only thing that's gonna change are the guards. The lever's gonna stay completely open as I'm setting up the canvas with my guidelines. And for those who are curious on how I have my clipper never get hot or overheat on me, is every time I'm changing out the guards or even doing small brush strokes, I'm turning off the clipper. I, I, I found that those few seconds of having the clipper off really help. Now with my number three guard, lever still open like I mentioned, just continue the process. And if you were initially very light and easy with that number two, you won't see a guideline in between these two guards. And finally guys, a number four, lever still completely open. This is gonna be the last guard that I use. And this is always the last guard that I use guys, no matter how long the hair is on top, anything after a number four, I usually just use clipper over comb. And I can't stress it enough guys to be easy with your wrist. I know when I first started, I don't know why I had the intention that applying more pressure into the client is gonna erase these guidelines. But no, definitely not. That is never the case. Just let the clipper do all the work. If you need to adjust your lever, then do so. By now, you should have the first guideline that we created with the zero, second that we created with the half, and the third that we created with the number one guard lever completely open. We're gonna start with that top one and work our way down. Using my one and a half guard, we're gonna close the lever just slightly, put it into a three fourths position. It's somewhere in between halfway and fully open and we're gonna start attacking that top guideline. Now to work on the second guideline coming down, I'm gonna use my half guard and we're gonna leave the lever in that 3 fourths position. Again guys, this 3 fourths position is probably only gonna work if your clippers are zero gap just like mine's. So 
So go ahead and take that up just a bit. And this step in particular is creating a faint line right above it, as you can see right here. But do not take this step any higher as we will come back right now with my one guard and remove that line. So like I mentioned, now with my number one guard, we're going to leave the lever still though in that three fourths position. And we're going to attack that, that line that the half guard created. As you can see, I'm using mainly the corners of the clipper to ensure that I don't take the fade up any higher than I need to. Take your time with all of this guys. If y'all are new to the channel, y'all are going to see that I'm a huge, huge advocate of taking your time. All my haircuts take anywhere from 45 to 60 minutes. If you are being told to rush your haircuts because the more haircuts you can do in a day, the more money. I don't believe in that at all. I believe in the complete opposite. I believe every client is your walking billboard. So take your time. Try to get the haircut as detailed as possible. And you'll see that they will be stopped out in public and be asked who cut their hair. So just take your time with it all, guys. And finally, for the last guideline that we created with the zero, we're gonna come in with the three-step process, starting with the lever closed, then we're gonna open it halfway, and then open it completely. I'm gonna use that three-step process just on this right side, so I can focus slowly on this right side, as this last line is very, very tedious, so I wanna take my time and give it as much attention to detail as possible. So second, I'm opening it halfway. And this is a rule of thumb, guys, something I did want to mention. I don't always start with the lever closed and attack it with the lever closed. Sometimes I open it just, just slightly and then follow that with halfway and finally lever completely open. And finally here, the lever is completely open again, using mainly the corners of the clipper. So I don't take the fade up any higher than I need to. And now I'm gonna use that three step process and focus just on the back side of the head. Again, starting with the lever close, here opening it halfway. And finally, lever completely open. Now to focus on the left side of the head. Again, just that three step process and take your time with it.
and we're all done pretty much with the fade guys. Now to do any touch up work, I'm going to use my half guard and I'm going to put lever play. I'm going to say lever play because this is going to vary from client to client and from one side of the head to another. And here I'm just going to come in and try to attack any dark spots that I see. For this last, this last step guys, I suggest that you step back or look at him from the mirror. Because sometimes we get caught up in looking at the fine little details from the front and we can't see the picture as a whole. So step back and try to see if you can clean up anything a bit better. Now using my trimmer in a forward position just to get a lot closer to the scalp. And then go ahead and remove that faint line that, faint line that that creates. And yes, my trimmers are zero gapped as well. But again guys, the video is in the description down below on how we zero gap our clippers. You need to make sure that you are zero gapping them properly and testing them in your forearm to make sure that you're not scratching or pulling hair. As you can see, there's a faint line right here. And I created that by using the trimmer in that forward position that you see right here. And that faint line is gonna be used as a guideline for our electric shaver. So yeah, like I mentioned, that faint line is going to be the guideline for the electric shaver. So go ahead and just take your electric shaver up to that faint line. And when you approach that faint line, I want you to use your electric shaver as if it was a clipper using mainly the corners of it to ensure that we don't take the fade up higher than we need to. And go ahead and clean up any frizz with your trimmers as you can see i'm using my pinky as support so yeah just step back look at them from the front and clean up any frizz guys and then always ask your client what they want to do with their facial hair and eyebrows and if you see any hair sticking out of the nose or ears guys just go ahead take it that extra mile and remove that for them and when clients usually have small cowlicks in their hairline guys i do like to use a product called spritz it is linked in the description below it's basically just a hairspray to lock the hair in a forward position and you could always use your blow your blow dryer to speed up the process but in this case since i still got to clean up the facial hair i'm just going to go ahead and let that dry as i do clean up the facial hair starting in the middle and moving my way to the side And following that up with my electric shaver just to get a lot closer.
and for the edge up guys i highly suggest again that you start from the middle then work your way to one side And then before you approach the other side, start from the middle again to recalibrate to make sure that you are going straight as possible and then work your way to the other side. I personally like to expose my blade as much as possible using my Faded Culture Matte Razor. Again, link is in the description down below for these guys. Always oh, start by shaving with the grain, then follow that by shaving against the grain using your opposite hand to tug the skin just a bit to ensure a softer shave. And while I'm working on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and do his eyebrow. And then just repeat that same thing, guys. Again, just make sure that you are tugging the skin a bit with your opposite hand. Here, dusting them off, getting ready to put the hair enhancements and product. The link is in the description down below for this airbrush gun as well, guys. And I do dilute my hair dye with a bit of water. Applying a little bit of matte pomade to bring out some texture. And here is the before guys in case y'all forgot. And here's the after guys a number 7 with a bald mid fade. I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial guys i hope y'all took something new out of it as always let us know down in the comments below anything that y'all would like for us to either go over more of or any particular styles that you would like for us to do on this channel give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already guys don't forget to subscribe i'll catch you on the next one peace